Good day, beautiful soul. Matt here, and today we are delving into the transformative practice known as the work developed by Byron Katie. The work is designed to help us examine thoughts and beliefs that are causing us distress and often unnecessary suffering. The work enables us to find clarity by broadening our perspective making situations less personalized, and ultimately finding freedom from victim mentality, resolving karmic patterns, and revealing the gift within the shadow. So let's dive in. The work is a meditative process that consists of four questions and a series of turnarounds. This process is designed to help challenge our beliefs and see them from new perspectives. Each question encourages deeper reflection and allows us to question the stressful thoughts that clouds our mind. Have you noticed that people often suffer solely on their story? And our story of reality is created by the beliefs that we hold. And the beliefs that we hold are created by the thoughts that we think. And the thoughts that we think are typically installed by our environment, the people we're surrounded by, the information we're taking in. When you were born, you likely believed what you were taught without question. You accepted the identity and the roles that your parents gave you. This is your name, your home, this is what we believe about life and God and on and on. And then we get curious. We see how some of what we learn doesn't quite add up. So we learn to dismantle these beliefs that create confusion and suffering and begin to see everything as a beautiful opportunity for growth. As we change our internal thoughts and beliefs, something quite magical happens. Our external reality also changes. All this reminds me of this insightful exchange between Harry Potter and Dumbledore. Professor, is this all real? Or is it just happening inside my head? Of course it's happening inside your head, Harry. Why should that mean that it's not real? And so by engaging in meditative practices like the work, we give ourselves the opportunity to confront our thoughts head on and question their validity and thereby changing our reality. These practices open up a new way of seeing our reality, of creating our reality in a way that's less distorted by our preconceptions and more aligned with a peaceful existence and a more expansive, beautiful world that our hearts knows is possible. And we also open ourselves up to the mystery of being that allows us to be more receptive, to let life weave our reality in far greater ways than our little ego could ever imagine. So let's practice the work. I invite you to find a quiet space where you can sit comfortably without interruptions. This should only take a few minutes. It would be helpful if you could bring to mind a recent interaction you've had with someone that left you feeling upset or heavy hearted or frustrated. You can close your eyes or soften your gaze and begin to deepen your breath. Just settling yourself into this experience. Before we begin with the four questions of the work, it's important to pinpoint a specific stressful thought. And for this example, I'll use the simple thought, he doesn't understand me. My friend, oh, he just doesn't understand me. And whatever your thought is, just gently having it in your awareness, and we can begin to move through the four questions of the work. 
The first question, is it true? For my example, I simply ask, is it true that he doesn't understand you? The answer should just be one syllable, either yes or no. And this is not about what others might think, but about what feels true to you personally. In our stillness, we can find our honest yes or no as it arises to meet the question, is it true? If your answer shows up to a yes, then we can move on to question two. If your answer is no, then um, we can move on to question three. Question two is, can you absolutely know it's true? Can you absolutely know that it is true? This question invites us to double check our reality, the beliefs that we formed based on the thoughts and feels that we're gripping onto. For my example, I ask, can I know for certain that he doesn't understand me? Shining a flashlight onto that moment in time and just seeing what reveals. And then moving to question three, how do you react when you believe that thought? How do you react when you believe that thought? What happens? Witness the feelings, the body sensations, and the behaviors that arise when you believe that thought. What images do you see, past or future? What emotions or physical sensations do you witness with those, with those images? How did you treat the other person? How did you treat yourself? Do any obsessions or addictions begin to appear when you believe that thought? And our last question is, who would you be without the thought? Returning to that situation you have in mind, who would you be without the thought? Just taking a moment to reflect, observe, and experience the situation again, this time without the thought. Who or what would you be without the thought? How would you see or feel about the other person? Drop all of your judgments and simply notice what is revealed. The last step of the work is exploring the turnarounds. After reflecting on these four questions, we explore the turnaround by considering the opposite of our original thought. This further opens our aperture to have a more holistic perspective. For instance, with my example, he doesn't understand me. The turnaround could be, he did understand me. Or, or, or even, I didn't understand him. Or even, I didn't understand myself. Often, a statement can be turned around to the self, or to the other, or to the opposite. Now, not every statement can have as many as three turnarounds. Some may just have one or two. Some might not have any turnarounds. Some turnarounds might not make sense to you. There's no need to force these. This exploration isn't, isn't to self-blame, but to open up to new perspectives that can bring peace and clarity. And that's the work developed by Byron Katie. Oh my goodness, you should definitely go check out thework.com for further resources on this practice. 
But now you have the practice in your pocket, in your emotional, mental, spiritual toolbox, and you can revisit these questions and turnarounds regularly. And this practice grows deeper with repetition, each cycle offering new insights and further liberation from distressing patterns. So thank you so much for joining me on this deep dive into the work by Byron Katie. Each moment of questioning is a step towards understanding the true nature of your experiences. So keep questioning, keep exploring, and cherish the wisdom that emerges. May your journey through the work illuminate the path of your true self, bringing peace where there was once turmoil and clarity where there was confusion. And remember, the answers you seek are always within you. Thank you.